This is part 45 of Blazor tutorial. Once a record is deleted from the database, there is no easy way to recover it. So it's always a good practice to display confirmation on delete. In this video, we'll discuss how to implement delete confirmation in Blazor. At the moment when we click delete button, the respective employer record will be deleted straight away without any confirmation. And this is dangerous because if we accidentally hit this delete button, we don't want the delete operation to go ahead. So a confirmation would be nice. We will actually be creating a reusable confirmation blazer component so it can be used for displaying a confirmation dialog for any requirement, not just delete confirmation. Since we want our confirmation component to be reusable, I'm going to add it to this project, presumtech.components. If you recollect from our previous videos in this series, this is a Reza class library project. So any component that we place in this project is reusable, not just within this solution, but across multiple solutions. So to this project, let's add a new Reza component. I'm going to name it confirm component. We need a separate class file for the component code. So let's add a new class file as well to this project. Name it confirm base. As usual, let's make this class public and inherit from component base base class. Bring in the required namespace by pressing control period. And then we want to specify this as the base class for our view. For that, let's use at inherits directive. We don't need this auto generated code. Now we're going to use bootstrap to style our confirmation dialog component. At the moment, I'm on bootstrap website and looking at the model dialog HTML. So when I click this button, we have a model dialog here. We want our confirmation dialog component to be styled like this with a model title, model body, and then these two buttons. And the HTML required for this is right here. What I have done in the background in the interest of time is copy this HTML and made a few changes. First, let me paste this HTML within our component right here, and then I'll quickly walk you through the changes. On this outermost div, I included these two classes, show and dblock. These classes are required for this dialog to be displayed. And then I changed the model header text to confirm delete and model body text to are you sure you want to delete. I also changed the text on this button to cancel and this button to delete. To control the visibility of this model dialog within our component class, let's include a Boolean property. So this confirmation dialog should only be displayed if this show confirmation property is true. So let's include an if block right here. Next, in the component class, I'm going to include a public method. As you can see, all this method is doing is setting this Boolean property show confirmation to true. Any component within our project that's going to consume this confirmation component is going to call this public method show to have this dialog displayed. We'll see that in action in just a bit. Next, I'm going to expose a custom event from this component. In just a bit, we'll see how we are going to make use of this custom event confirmation change. Now let's use this confirm component from this display employee component. Now to use a component in another component, we simply use the component name as a custom HTML element. Our component name here is confirm. Remember, initially we want this confirmation dialog to be hidden. We want it to be displayed only when we click the delete button. We already have an event handler and at the moment this event handler deletes the respective employee record. We don't want that to happen. When the delete button is clicked, we first want to show the delete confirmation. So let's make a copy of this method. We need this code again in just a bit. So I kept it commented. When this delete button is clicked, that's when we want to display this confirmation dialog. For that, we need to call this public method show. And this method sets this Boolean property show confirmation to true. And this dialog HTML is only displayed if show confirmation is true. So all that is left to do is from this display employee component, we want to call this confirm component show method. And for us to be able to do that from within the display employee component class, we need a reference for this confirm instance. 
and to create a reference we use at ref directive. We can name it anything we want but I'm going to call it delete confirmation. Now the important bit is within our component class we need a property with this same name delete confirmation. On this delete confirmation reference notice we have show method. We don't need this method to be async any longer. So let's change the return type to void. With all these changes in place, let's run our project and take a look at the browser. Notice when we click the delete button, we don't see the delete confirmation dialog. That's because all we are doing when the delete button is clicked is setting this property show confirmation to true. So in this case, the component state has changed. That is, this boolean property value has changed from false to true. So when the component state changes, Blazor in most cases re-renders this component. But in this specific case, it's not re-rendering this component because it's not aware its state has changed. So in situations like this, we have to tell explicitly the component that its state has changed. And we do that by calling state has changed method. Now, when we click the delete button, we see the confirmation dialog as expected. At the moment, when we click these two buttons or this little cross, nothing happens. That's because we don't have event handlers attached to them. Let's do that now. In our custom confirmation component class, let me include this method on confirmation change. First, bring in the required namespace for task. This is going to be the event handler for these two buttons, cancel and delete, and this little cross. Now, when we click this little cross or cancel button, that means we did not give our confirmation to delete. So we want to pass a value of false. On the other hand, when we click delete, that means we gave our confirmation to delete the respective employer record. So in this case, we want to pass a value of true. That's the reason we have a parameter on this event handler of type boolean true or false and once we click any of these buttons this little cross cancel or delete we want to close this dialog that's the reason we are setting show confirmation to false and then we are raising our custom event confirmation changed and to that we are passing the boolean parameter as the event payload that is event data the obvious next step is to specify this method as the event handler and here is the button that displays the little cross. So when we click this button, we are passing a value of false to our event handler method. The same is true when we click the cancel button and when the delete button is clicked, we are giving our confirmation. So we want to pass a value of true. Next, in display employee component, we want to handle the custom event of our confirmation component that is this confirmation changed event. First, in the component class, let's include the event handler method. I named it confirm delete click and it receives a boolean parameter. Remember, when this cross or cancel button is clicked, we pass a value of false. And when this delete button is clicked, we pass a value of true. And only when a value of true is passed, we want to delete the respective employee record. So we have a check here if delete confirmed, then we want to go ahead and delete the employer record. And we have the code for that already here. So let's copy these two lines and paste them right here. So if true, then delete the employer record. Otherwise, do nothing. We don't need these commented lines. So let's get rid of them. Our final step is to wire up this method as the event handler for our custom event. Save all our changes and take a look at the browser. Notice now when we click the cancel button or this cross, the confirmation is closed. When we click the delete button, the respective employee record is deleted. At the moment, both the confirmation title and this confirmation message are hard coded within our custom confirmation component. This makes this component less reusable, meaning we cannot use this for displaying a different confirmation within our application. So to make this component more reusable, let's expose both these, that is the confirmation title and confirmation message as public properties within our custom component. 
In the interest of time, I've already included the two properties, confirmation title and confirmation message. I also have specified default values in case the consuming component does not specify a value explicitly. And in our view, we need to bind to these properties. So instead of hard coding the confirmation title, let's bind to confirmation title property. And the same is true for confirmation message. To make this component even more reusable, we may include two more public properties to control the display text of cancel and delete buttons. But in the interest of time, I'm going to leave that as an exercise for you to do. So within our display employee component, we can now use the public property confirmation message and specify our own message. Here, I'm also displaying the name of the employee that we are trying to delete. And we want the name to be within double quotes. I am escaping that using a backslash. Let's save all our changes and take a look at the browser. Notice now we see the custom confirmation message, including the name of the employee. Now let's navigate to edit employee component. We have a delete button here as well. When we click this, we want to display the same delete confirmation. If you want to give it a try, pause the video here and give it a shot. Here is my implementation. In the view, I included our custom confirm component and in the component class, I created this property. The name of this property matches the ref name that we specified here. And we have two event handlers, delete, click. So this displays the confirmation dialog. And this is the event handler for our custom event confirmation changed. And I'm also specifying custom confirmation message. This is very similar to what we have in our display employee component. When we click delete, we see the delete confirmation, click cancel, nothing happens. On the other hand, when we click delete, the respective employee record is deleted and we are redirected to the list page. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening. Thank you.